how much should we be getting in a day when it comes to essential amino acids? And then maybe how often do we need to get every meal or what's the proper spacing throughout the day? So the quality of protein is determined first by how easily your body can digest it. Meaning when you eat the protein, can your body break, break down the protein into its the composite amino acids? That's the number one step. And some are easier for you to digest than others, and thus the amino acids are more available. And there's a whole scoring system, you know, mi decades that they've spent on that, analyzing you know, which proteins are more digestible. Uh, those do happen to be animal proteins like eggs are like at the very top, um, milk proteins are at the very top. Now necessarily this doesn't mean that there aren't other things like you could have an egg allergy or you could have some type of dairy allergy. But if you talk about the actual digestibility of the protein source, it's, it's the most digestible of being able to be broken down into its component amino acids. Plants tend to be less. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't be really healthy and eat all the essential amino acids you need on a plant-based diet. We'll get to that, but that's kind of a basic frame. Then after that, once you have digested the proteins and you've broken them apart into the, the composite amino acids, what amino acids are present in what amounts? Mm -hmm. And it is the case that certain amino acids, obviously the essential amino acids, are more important for your body for stimulating and completing muscle protein synthesis. And because they then can be converted into these other non-essential amino acids if necessary by the liver. But in many cases, if you're eating a well-balanced diet and through the breakdown of your existing muscle tissue, which is, which is happening all the time, you're getting free-form non-essential amino acids that are available to you to rebuild into muscle. So it's, it's really about getting the, the best quality and the most amount of the essential amino acids. Wow.